Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did these super cute passion twists. To start, I'm going to show you what hair I use. So I actually didn't have a full pack of hair left to show you guys. So um, I only have the packaging. It's the Free Trust Braid Jazz Water in the length 12 inches. I am very short. I'm only 4'11", so I really wasn't looking to have this hair reach me all the way down to my butt. So I really like the length on this, being that it's 12 inches. Um, this is how the packaging looks, and this is the little thing that comes inside it. As for the hair, this is how the hair looks. I did not separate the strands of hair. I used two strands per each section at the front, which would be like this. This is two strands. I had about three twists that were a little bit larger than the rest of the hair, um, just because I, was, I couldn't see the back of my head to part them really well. So for those ones, I used three pieces. But for all of these ones at the front, I used just two pieces. And you have no idea how much time it saves, being that I didn't have to separate this hair. If you guys remember my spring twist video, I'll link it somewhere here, that I mentioned at that time that the worst part for me was separating the hair. So I am eternally grateful that I did not have to separate this hair. So for this style, I actually watched the tutorial by Beauty by Ty, and let me tell you, I watched that video like a million times. So kudos to her for giving me this super easy way of doing these passion twists. I'll put a link to her video in the description box because she's hilarious. So you can go check out her video on the passion twist. Um, it was very helpful to me. I actually tried this style in December and it was a fail and I didn't even record it. So after seeing Beauty by Ty's video, that is when I decided to give it another try and I love my results. So definitely go check out Beauty by Ty and you can go check out the Boho Babe. Maybe you say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. I parted my hair in small sections, small squares or rectangles. Honestly, they were not very neat. I really didn't care that much. I know that most of them would be covered up by the hair. I did use these rubber bands from Sally's and I just put them in this container. It's like the cap off one of my sprays and I just added a little oil. Now you can use any oil you have just to help them not to really snag on your hair that much and just to be a little bit more gentle. So it actually makes it easier on your hair if you put a little oil on the rubber band. It's better for the rubber band to be slipping than for it to be so tight that it's yanking your hair out you think i would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars but it always ends the same can't bear the things i've had to face got you crying on your knees in pain oh some things never change never change oh you break your back to after adding the rubber band, I crocheted in the hair, two strands at a time. After I crocheted in the hair, I split my own hair into two. Then I added one piece of my hair to each part of the passion twist hair. Afterwards, I just twisted them all together. I kind of twirled my fingers a bit just to get the top part to be tight so that my own hair could kind of be tucked in. Save myself by turning into stone. So save your judgment because you just don't know. But some things never change, never change. The hair itself has that kinkiness about it at the ends, so it is still going to look pretty good. But yeah, I really like how this looks. And I found this hair to be very easy to work with, very soft. It actually feels so realistic, like my own hair. I've had persons ask me if it's my own hair. It's not shiny. It doesn't have that fake sheen to it. So I really like this hair. Um, I used five packs of hair. I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning. You wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved. Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. 
You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh, you break your back to make me feel it. So for the ends, I just borrow hair from each side until I reach the end of the hair and that way it's kind of matted in a sense, so it's not as easy to unravel. I stopped asking for forgiveness, cause you should know only fools tread with the angels. Fear to go, but you keep trying to get too close. Save myself by turning into stone. So save your judgment cause you just don't know But some things never change, never change Oh, They say I should feel guilty and change my ways Leaving crumpled bodies in my wake Swear I didn't mean to make them break Swear I didn't mean to make them break But they're so delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like a moth to a flame Oh, some things never change, never I only have like this left over so a little less than five packs but definitely in the future I'd probably do six packs instead because the ones at the back are honestly way bigger than the ones at the front because I didn't want to run out of here when I got to the front and I'm glad I did because this is all I have left as it relates to the upkeep of this hair, I'm just wearing my satin bonnet at night. Um, I won't be adding any extra product. I went way overboard styling this hair. I use so many stylers and gels and jams and all kinds of stuff just to get my hair to blend with it. And also it made my hair very soft. The, the, the jazz water hair feels very soft as well. And my own hair isn't really sticking out of it. But the only problem is this hair is so soft that it does unravel. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be dipping it in some hot water as I'm done this video. So I actually finished this style two days ago. It took me about, I want to say it was maybe four hours because I did it on and off over two days. But it was the easiest style I've ever done. It, it literally took no time. So I don't even think it took me four hours total. For me, parting was the worst and I can't see the back of my head and I'm using a mirror. So that was definitely the worst part. But twisting the hair and putting the hair and crocheting in the hair was actually pretty easy. For the back of my hair, I actually did up until about this part here. 
yeah i want to say it was up until about here so like the middle of my head i was actually doing a different method so i did that crochet method for the front and i actually didn't really record the back because it's so hard to record the back and do it at the same time but it will be the same method that is in beauty by ty's video so I actually found a little footage of me trying to do that little weird install at the front and this is when I decided to just go straight into trying the crochet method because it's so much easier so I'm very happy that I didn't do this for my entire head but I did this in the back and as you can see I got so many tangles and knots my hair kept getting caught on the elastic band so I highly prefer the crochet method but after i finished the front i'm like this was so much easier just to do the crocheting all along and i actually i'm really sorry that i didn't do that at the back well, on my head like it doesn't feel heavy like it's breaking my neck but i can definitely tell that i have it on especially if i put it in a bun or i hold it up because i mainly put it up when i'm going to work so for work this is how i wear it half up half down and i really don't mind it on my back i just hate feeling like it's on my face Um, the only thing I would say is that sleeping with the rubber bands in, like it does take a little getting used to it. After the first day, it kind of started loosening up a bit. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Have you tried fashion twists before? Do you intend to try fashion twists? And if you do try them, definitely tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your creations. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And if you aren't following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Please do so at NK Naturals. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.